Greetings, I'm Demonac, and it's arena time. Alright, well, we're back with my druid deck. It has very little removal, and frankly, it doesn't feel like it has anything that special to it. It's really just a I play fat stuff sort of druid deck. I had a lot more faith on that kind of deck, like, at the, when I was doing my first arenas, based on what I'd seen, but now I would really like to have a lot more removal than I do. I'm just kind of reliant on charged creatures to hopefully kill things. But charged creatures are, you know, they're uh, thwarted by taunt and other problems like that. Okay. Almost got no neck George. It's a mage. Okay, this is going to be a little bit rougher test. On the plus side, my strategy of just have a ton of creatures is probably one of the better strategies against a mage, but I don't have that rushdown sort of ability. Really what you'd want to have against a mage would be a lot of low-cost, efficient... a lot of low-cost, efficient creatures that have higher toughness than attack. That seems like it would be the strategy you'd want. Uh, do I want to coin out a two-cost creature that is just going to get killed by a fireball. Not really. I'm going out this one, which is going to trade with the Leper Gnome, what? which also sucks. That's not a very good choice. I'm going to hold on to the coin for now and just take a beating. What are you going to do? That is a lot of crud. So I can coin out nothing of value. I can coin out Savage Roar, which would, in this particular case, not be any better. In fact, be slightly worse than just shape-shifting. Mm -hmm. This just gets its butt kicked. Let me see if I can do more stuff later. So yeah, I am just going to... Kung Fu the Leper Gnome. I'm going to take a lot of beatings, mostly. I did not have a great start here, but this deck seems statistically unlikely to have a good fast start, so I shouldn't complain as much as I am undoubtedly going to complain. Just so you know. Now I could coin out the Dragonling Mechanic, which would be slightly better against my opponent's stuff. I could save the coin for Nourish, but by that point I'm going to be getting crushed. I could also play Direwolf Alpha and the uh, Bluegill Warrior. The Bluegill would be able to kill one of these guys, like that one, and... Doesn't help me that much. You know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna coin out the uh, the Dragonling mechanic because it gives me two warm bodies, and one of them has four toughness, which it actually should hopefully take some more effort by my opponent. If you're wondering what fell over back there, it's uh, a brand new 40 by 40 map poster. It's the map from the Tales from My D and D campaign world, which I thought was pretty cool. Until it fell down? I mean, I knew that wasn't a permanent mounting solution, but I thought it would stay up for, you know, an hour or whatever that it takes me to play a couple games here. Shows what I know. Alright. Well, it seems like that was the right play, because I still have a creature alive. My opponent has a secret. That part's not great. So... Yeah, so I don't want to play any super awesome creatures. I guess I'm going to play my weenies. They they work out well for the mana, and if something bad happens, uh, is it a mirror entity? It is indeed. So what I can do about that is I'll actually... I was going to play another creature, but no, I'm just going to Kung Fu that. So it's got one toughness. For the wilds. At this point, I'm behind, so, like, arguably I could have just traded one of those other guys, but I'm never going to win if I keep 
trading everything against the mage. The mage will presumably win out in all out trades. Because the mage gets an extra damage every turn. Spread however she wants. Oh wow, she is already burning me down. This is going to be a short game. <laughs> yeah. Wow, I don't know what I can do about that. I'm just going to get burned down. Like I could nourish, and that'll give me two mana with which to play the Direwolf Alpha. Yeah, that's probably it. Gain two mana crystals, since I have lots of cards. When you draw that later in the game, you're always going to be using it for cards. But at the moment, permanent increase in mana seems pretty good. So, well, that's unfriendly. And she missed, she forgot to read Blizzard. She thought that I would be frozen already and that it would do four damage to me, but instead, Blizzard only hits minions, so that didn't work, which would be mildly embarrassing for her if she wasn't going to kill my ass soon, anyhow. Um. Seven mana would do one of these four cost buff guys and a Scarlet Crusader, but his buff is temporary. And it's pretty hard to argue with just playing the Agent of Lore, honestly. Oh, I have eight mana. Hold on. Is that do I gonna do something better with eight? Not a whole lot. What to do? Not really. It'd still be just a seven mana play. Okay, I'm going to use the Ancient Lore, and... You know what, I have lots of cards. Normally this is stupid, but I'm actually going to gain 5 health, because I'm playing against a mage. And because I was, like, losing against the mage. I would very rarely use that. Like, 2 cards is so much better than 5 health, but I have lots of cards and not much health right now, so... Yeah. You go ahead and polymorph my powerful battle cry creature. I am okay with that. You played nothing that is killing me right now. Hallelujah. Oh, uh, so that's actually not too bad a play. It'll break through one of those guys without dying, which is cool. If I had if I had one more mana, if I had the full ten mana, I could play Scarlet Crusader and Wolf Rider and Defender of Argusum, which would be pretty friggin' awesome. Uh, that's not going to happen. But, so I could play one of them and Starfa Starfire my opponent. Then I would have no removal. No, I'm not doing that. i got to save that for actually killing, because she's going to put out something bad eventually. Hmm. So, yeah, and I, I could just play Defender of Argus and the Dark Iron Dwarf. I don't see how that's much better. I, I think I need to use the Dark Iron more offensively. I'm going to save this as a surprise. I don't need to break those right now. So it's going to be Scarlet Crusader. And I'll give her Taunt and plus one, plus one. So taunt goes well with her thing. And I'm going to Kung Fu basically just for the armor, but I might as well hit one of them because who knows, maybe it'll matter. Maybe my opponent will play nothing of value and I'll draw Wrath and want to do one damage and draw a card. That is a big guy. You have to deal with him. And of course he's going to burst my bubble. Boo. Alright. So I can play the Wolf Rider and then give him plus two from the Dark Iron Dwarf. Use that to kill him. Keeping alive my slightly better guys who are in play. And that would leave me enough mana to Kung Fu one of these. Or, oh. What? I won't be able to kill through them all anyway. So I was thinking I could actually, I could play him, and I could Savage Roar, which would let me attack and stuff. And I still have four mana left. That'd be one, two, three, four things attacking. So one of them would actually get hmm. through. Okay, this is actually looking kind of cool. Hold on. Right. 
So I kill you. You kill him. You kill that. And I will Dark Iron her. She's doomed now, but... I mean, an argument could be made that I could do it on him, because it takes more for her to uh, to kill him with Fire Blast, but if she's not using anything but Fire Blast to kill it, then this thing's going to last several turns anyway, and I'm getting more attack out of it. Basically, it was doing one more damage this way, so I did it that way. And I've gone from looking like I was dead to looking like I'm alive. Now let's see if I'm dead again. Use two Ice Lances to kill him. Fire Blasted her, didn't kill her. Wow, I can't believe that I get to come back and win this game. Why do you surrender out of my one damage? I was killing you as fast as humanly possible with these animations. I don't understand why people like want to surrender faster. Yeah, I got some gold. That's good because... Yeah, I got some gold. That's good because... <laughs> I was running low. I mean, I could spend some more money on the arena, but I don't want to have to spend actual money when it mostly sustains itself with gold. Okay, so 2-0, and oh, that's good. Uh, one was a DC, it didn't really count, but I did beat a mage, which seems pretty cool. It, on the other hand, it's somewhat, it's a mage who didn't hasn't played mage as much, because, or at least she hasn't played with Blizzard, because Blizzard only affects minions, and she didn't realize that and wasted a Ice Lance on me. I was going to run for her. I don't think it would have swung the game, though. You're expensive. Um, you need a creature to buff. You know what? I'm going to get rid of you. I'm going to keep you because I've, I've learned my lesson. Things can actually get worse in this deck. It's got a lot of high cost stuff. Okay. Interesting. She's kind of a bad first turn play. She's much better later on. But the Warlock should at least have to spend a card to kill her. So why not? I'll oh, put her out. She's much better when you have another creature in play, though, because she will immediately give it plus one health when you end your turn. Okay, we've got some Murloc Beats. Uh, I don't have anything that I can cast, even with the coin, but I can... For the wild. Kung Fu the big one. And hit him for two. And then he gets to kill her for cheap, but... Eh, it's not too bad. Given my start, it's about the best I could hope for, is him playing something that I could Kung Fu to death. Do I have to? Let him and draw a card. Yeah. Hard to keep up the card advantage. Normally what you want to do against the Warlock is rush him down. That's hard to do, too, because my deck does not rush that much. But I'm going to give it a shot. I am actually going to coin out... A lot of my guys are buff guys. I've got a taunt, which I don't really need. So I'm going to rush out the Stormwind Knight and apply damage to my opponent. Since, he's not take, since I didn't use him to hit a creature, he actually has his full 5 toughness this turn, which makes him pretty hard to kill. Wow. That is a suicidal creature. I mean, it's strong, but if you were if you were another class other than Warlock, that would be much better than it is for the Warlock, who's already damaging himself. Um. So Dark Iron Dwarf will not make this guy big enough to kill that. Basically, nothing I have will make him big enough to kill that. But my opponent is low on health. I can try and just keep beating him down. I think that's going to be my strategy. I'm going to find out what he does. I'm not going to worry about this guy right away, because I can hit him for almost as much damage, except he is taking the beat. And if he uses this to kill one of my guys, then, first off, he's not getting back his investment in hit points. That was interesting. 
you need a spell power for your Hellfire to kill these guys still. Oh, Shadow Bolt, okay. Or Soul Fire. Wow, that's even better because he loses a card. My eyes are open. Heal himself. Okay, he needed that. Now I don't have any removal, which is pretty crummy. Like I don't have any way to do two damage to this pit lord. I'm gonna have to rely on taunt for that, I guess. My, this is not working out to be a good 5 mana turn. If I play him, that's efficient mana-wise. I could get beat up. Ah, you know what? I don't need... My opponent's the one that needs to worry about his health. I don't need to worry about my health yet. And I have loads of taunt coming down the pipeline. So, yeah, I'll put those, I'll put that out, because it's the most efficient 5-cost play, and it's actually a decent matchup for his army. And make him deal with that. Okay. This thing almost kills his. Uh... Now that does work pretty work out pretty well because it let his three three take my thing out, and then he wasted his five attack creature to kill a two two. That was a really bad play, I think. But I could be wrong. I'm I'm not always right. So Lord of the Arena will just trade with that, which is I'm pretty sure is what my opponent wants. Sengen Shieldmaster plus Direwolf Alpha would only do 4 damage to that. And again, I don't have any removal, so... Yeah, as much as it pains me, I think I'm just going to put out the Lord of the Arena and hope that he has to trade. Still have a lot of stuff in my hand. Oh, that's no good. That is unfortunate. Although he would have flattened my like smaller thing. Doesn't help me out any though. At least I should be able to get out another taunt creature next round, so he'll have to get through that. I wonder. He's going to draw himself into an early grave. Again, I'm sure I would do the same thing, especially if he didn't have anything to cast, and now he does. Oh, that is awesome. Because that gives me back control of the situation. My wolf rider can kill off his stupid thing, and then I can play whatever the heck I want. Hooray! Yes, much better. Because I thought I was just going to have to neutralize the board and stuff like that, but now I'm actually slightly in control of the board. I have a 3-5, and his guy can't even just ignore it. No, more self-healing. He's trying to... His deck is built with the idea that he's going to heal himself out of his, like, life tap problems. May not be a bad idea. No, he's going to just power overwhelming without any silly tricks. That creature dies at the end of the turn from his own buff. It's okay. I'm guessing he can't do that kind of stuff all day long. I'm going to keep putting out problems for him to deal with. If if he has that Warlock card that like kills a creature, destroy target creature, and then gain three life, then I'll be annoyed. No, okay, he's going to have to spend some effort. Yeah, that's fine. You You spend Hellfire when I only have one creature out and when your life is lower than mine. That is good. Okay, I can just play another one. That's got to be demoralizing. I'm not sure it's the best play, though. I think I am better off getting out a Gurubashi Berserker with plus one, plus one in taunt. Because I have two separate targets now, and he'll get bigger as he takes damage. They still don't do as much damage as he does until this takes damage, but this is stopping his Scarlet Crusader pretty hard. Okay. He might not even attack, because it's kind of not to his advantage. And he's, I'm surprised he's playing the Suicide Imp at this stage. I guess he's got to try and get advantage out of his cards, but... Yeah. Okay.
So I could play a Dragonling Mechanic, Direwolf Alpha, give all my guys plus one, plus one, which would be getting a lot out of this spell. On the other hand, I could just play the Iron Bark Protector and Direwolf Alpha. I think the giant army of plus one plus one, like it's more stuff, but he might have another AoE. I think this is actually harder to deal with. Keeping that in mind, plus his health is low enough. He wants to draw cards and stuff like that. I have the taunt. I'm gonna have more taunt. I'm just gonna go for pure beatdown. I'm not. I'm gonna ignore all his creatures. None of them are actually all that awesome, and they're gonna have a hard time getting through my berserker. So yeah, I'm gonna do that, and the direwolf alpha gives them a bonus to attack. While also putting out putting out another potential individual source of damage for next turn, and I'm going to give him a tough problem. If he draws a card, then he would actually have to kill all four of my creatures. Yeah, there was not a lot of way out of that. I just there's apparently an advantage to having a deck full of taunts. A lot of the pros are saying like no no like taunts not worth. You can get better creatures for the cost. I don't know though, in uh, in Arena, having a big army of taunt is pretty strong. It, your opponent is less likely to have removal and other ways to get around them. Well, three wins and counting. Let's see how much farther I can go next time. Show some love to the like button. And don't forget to subscribe to Demon Act Games for more Hearthstone Arena and Scrolls Judgment videos.